Okay, so this first slide here is uh, a cover of ASCE 710, and this, this uh, document, this standard, came out in May 2010. Um, now, you may be asking, why do I have two uh, covers shown here? Well, on this right-hand side here, you can see circled um, something in the upper right corner that says second printing, errata incorporated. And uh, take a look at your ASCE 710, see which one you have. If you have the second printing, then that saves you from having to incorporate some errata. However, um, we're going to have a slide a little bit later that tells you that you do need to continually check the errata because there is, unfortunately, um, kind of a lot of errata on this particular publication. Um, now, going back, oops, let's see here. I just want to uh, show you, okay, this is ASCE 710, this is ASCE 705. Obviously, much thicker, ASCE 710, why is that? Let's take a non-technical view of what's different between the two, uh, helping you understand why the number of pages has gone up to 608 from 388 in ASCE 705. Uh, part of that can be explained by new provisions, uh, part can be explained by a longer commentary, and part of it can be explained by larger font. Now, like in past editions, black bars are used in the margin to indicate where revision has occurred. However, for the reorganized wind chapters, and we'll be seeing today that that is a significant, one of the biggest changes in ASCE 710, uh, we don't have those black bars uh, used because the single wind chapter from ASCE 705 has been lifted, placed at the end of the provisions, and divided up into chapters 26 through 31. So all of those chapters would have a black bar on the margin, and that wasn't making sense. Now, something new in ASCE 710 are the user notes, and they've been added various places sprinkled uh, throughout the standard as a user-friendly feature so that you can understand the provisions better. And the commentary, you know, we, we like to remind you that that commentary is there. Um, it's been updated. It's most definitely added to the length of the standard, and I think that you'll find a lot of useful material in that updated commentary. Okay, here's that slide that uh, is a snapshot from one of our pages on our website, which is under resources. You can see here we have these little tabs at the top of our website, and then we have a tab resources. I'd invite you to go ahead and uh, spend a little time there, but under resources we have another tab, errata and supplements. And you can go through there and there is already a supplement to ASCE 710. You can download that at your convenience. And here we update uh, the ASCE 710 errata. I'm on this. I am watching ASCE to get uh, new errata posted so far. Um, we haven't seen it. It was supposed to be sometime in June. Haven't seen it yet, So, but we're still following that very closely, and through social media we'll post also if any new errata has been posted by ASCE. This particular standard was placed on a compressed schedule, so there is more errata than you would expect. It will take you a couple of hours if you have the first printing to incorporate the errata. hate to have to share that news, but at the same time it's important that you know about it. All right, here we have a slide of the 2012 IBC. Now, you may be asking, why do we have a slide of the cover of the 2012 IBC when we're talking about ASCE 710? Well, it is this particular IBC where ASCE 710 is first referenced. Uh, for those of you who have been working with the IBC for a while, you know that the 2006 IBC and the 2009 IBC both referenced ASCE 705 in Chapter 35, that's where we find out what edition of ASCE is referenced in the IBC. And it wasn't until the 2012 IBC that ASCE 710 is referenced, and you can find that reference in Chapter 35 of the IBC.